The Neo Serverless driver is a low latency Postgres driver for JavaScript and TypeScript that is ideal for serverless and edge deployments. That's because instead of using TCP, it actually offers two ways to establish connections to your database, HTTP and WebSockets. Let's take a look at both. Right now, I'm in a Cloudflare worker project and I have a simple API built using Hono and TypeScript. I have a single API endpoint that accepts GET requests at the root route, and I'm just returning some JSON. So if I actually start my development server and go to localhost 8787, you see that we get some JSON and it's just saying subscribe to the Neon YouTube channel. By the way, this is your reminder. And what I want to do is actually replace this hard-coded JSON with data that comes from a Postgres database that's hosted on Neon. Now, I already have one. And this database has three tables. I have a user stable that has some data, a post stable, and a common stable. So I have data that I can query. And I already added the connection string to my project in my .dev .bars file. So I can just import the connection string as an environment variable. So what I actually want to do now is install the Neon serverless driver. So I'll just stop my development server and let's run npm install at neon database slash serverless. And as a reminder, the neon serverless driver supports two ways for you to query your database, either over HTTP or WebSockets. And your first question will probably be, okay, when should I use which? The HTTP version is fast and simple. It supports one-shot queries as well as non-interactive transactions. So if you wanna issue multiple queries at the same time, while the WebSocket version of the driver allows you to have sessions and interactive transactions because you get a real ordinary Postgres connection, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you how to use both approaches. And typically you will use the HTTP version unless you use the, like unless you need the WebSocket version. So let's start with the HTTP version. So to actually establish a connection over HTTP, what we need to do is use the neon function. So what you can do is say con SQL equals neon, and this function is imported from the neon serverless driver, and it takes as an argument a connection string. So for me, I'm gonna import it by saying c.env.database URL. Now this is owner specific. I have the environment variable here, and I have autocompletion because I define this type, and I'm passing this generic and that's how it works with Hono, uh, but it depends on which framework you're using with Cloudflare Workers. So now that I established a connection to my database, the next step is for me to actually issue a query. So let's say that I want to return all users from my database. So let's say const users equals await and do SQL. You can either do a template tag or a regular function. I personally prefer template tags and just say select everything from users. And we then want to return users in our response. So if again, I start again my dev server and go to localhost 8787, we get data from our database, which is super cool. So if we go back and let's say we want to issue multiple queries, let's say I want to return all users and all posts, the neon function gives you a transaction function, like there's a transaction property, and you can use it to issue multiple queries at the same time. And this function takes an array of queries. So I can do, for example, SQL, and then say, again, like I want to return all users, and then I want to return all posts, so let's do select everything from posts and users will be the first value and posts will be the second value. And I can just include posts here. And if I go back, you'll see that we have users and posts, which is very cool. So that's how you get started with the HTTP version of the driver. Now let's take a look at the WebSocket version. Now, the cool thing about the WebSocket version is that it was designed to be a drop-in replacement for Node Postgres, the popular Postgres driver. So if you're already familiar with Node Postgres, there is zero learning curve. In case you're unfamiliar, the Node Postgres package gives you two functions, a client 
function. And this client function just, you know, establishes a direct connection to the database. And then you have a pool function, which establishes a pool of connections. And since we're working in a serverless environment, the WebSocket connection that will be established so that we can connect from the edge function to our database, it actually can't, like this connect, WebSocket connection can't outlive a single request. So it doesn't actually matter whether you use pool or client. I'm just gonna use pool because it's like easier to write and it supports one-shot queries. And yeah, like what you should do is you instantiate like, you know, the pool uh, kind of constructor here in the handler itself. You shouldn't do it outside of the function. Then you write your query and then you close the connection. And in this case, you will do like pool.end. So I will say, for example, const pool equals new pool. And this function takes an object and I can pass a connection string. And again, I'll pass it the same way. And now the next step is for me to write a query. So let's say again, I want to return all users. I'll do const users equals await pool dot query. And this function takes a, you know, actual query. And I can say select everything from users. And the last thing I want to run pool dot end, but we don't actually want to await this because it will just hold up the response. And for Cloudflare workers, what we can do is actually use the wait until function. And we can do it by saying C dot execution context dot wait until and then pass pool dot end. And now let's actually return the users, but we want to actually return the rows. So we'll need to do users dot rows. And if we go back and refresh, everything should work as expected. And that's it. This is how you can connect to your Postgres database from serverless environments. If you want to learn more about how the driver works, how we made it really fast, I'll leave a bunch of links down below that you can check out. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out in the Neon Discord community. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.